example, we are onto the Claw Formation Cheat Sheet. Please consider that this is specific for the Solution Architect Associate, whereas for the SysOps Associate, this would be a much longer cheat sheet because you have to know it more in detail. Um, I did add a few additional things we did not cover in the core content, just in case they do creep up on the exam. I don't think they will, but I threw them in there just in case. Uh, and so let's get through this list. So when being asked to automate the provisioning of resources, think cloud formation. When infrastructure as code is mentioned, think cloud formation. Cloud formation can be written in either JSON or YAML. When cloud formation encounters an error, it will roll back with rollback in progress. Again, might not show up in the exam, but I'm putting that in there. Cloud formation templates larger than half a megabyte um, arc too large. And in that case, you'd have to upload from S3. So the mo most important thing is you can upload templates directly, or you can provide a link uh, to an object to in an S3 bucket. Okay. Uh, nested stacks help you break up CloudFormation templates into smaller reusable templates that can be composed into larger templates. At least one resource under resources must be defined for a CloudFormation template to be valid. Uh, and then we talk about all the um, sections. So we have metadata, that's for extra information about your template. Description, that de uh, describes what your template should do. Parameters, how you get uh, users' inputs into the template. Transforms, it applies macros. Outputs, these are values you can use to import into other stacks. So it's just outputted variables. Mappings, it is like a lookup table. So it maps keys to values. Resources, define the resources you want to provision. And again, I repeat it, at least one resource is required. All these other sections are optional. And conditions, which uh, the, these are like your if else statements uh, within your CloudFormation template. So there you go. Uh, we're all done with CloudFormation.